for those that do a lot of airbrushing, uh, there's always a lot of cleaning that goes on. And I've come across uh, thousands of different ways of cleaning brushes. There's, I mean, more than you can imagine. You can clean them by hand. You can, you know, you can soak them in a solution, then wipe them down. Um, there's numerous different ways, but there always seems to be a problem with getting that last little bit of paint out of your brush. Um, that kind of led me uh, well, about a year, year and a half ago to uh, try something a little bit new. Uh, for me at least, it wasn't necessarily new for everybody else, but uh, I had some people recommend an ultrasonic cleaner for brushes. So you can buy these things at a lot of different places. You can buy them to clean jewelry, glasses, uh, bearings, I mean you name it. There's industrial, there's all different kinds of ultrasonic cleaners. So. This is my ultrasonic cleaner. I uh, purchased it from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's nothing real fancy. It's about a $70 unit, two and a half quart. Uh, but the nice thing about this unit is the capacity. I can actually get every one of my brushes in here at one time. And I've got eight brushes right now. So I can get all eight brushes in here for cleaning at the same time if I want. Now what I've done here is I've sprayed a little paint and I just kind of let it dry. Uh, just kind of show you how well these things work. I'm going to drop these in here. We'll go through a couple different cleaning cycles. What I'll do first is I'll just throw it in here as it is and I'll run through the first cleaning cycle and then we'll uh, see what it's like after the first cleaning cycle. Now a lot of uh, what actually helps you clean on your ultrasonic cleaner is your solution. Um, I personally use the isopropyl uh, alcohol. I add in just a touch of the uh, Createx uh, airbrush cleaner and then I also add in uh, water to basically cover everything. Uh, so I can make sure that my brushes are fully submerged in the solution. Now the nice thing about this ultrasonic cleaner is it has a heating function. So I can turn on and actually heat up my solution prior to ever starting the cleaning process. Uh, if you don't have an option to heat the solution you may find that you need to run uh, a few more cycles through because that is part of the cleaning process is actually getting the heat up on the solution so it can break down the material that you're trying to remove. So you can see that just from the heating process here over here on the side the solution is already starting to bubble and actually break down some stuff for me. So I want to turn these on let it run for about uh, eight minutes here and come back and see how it does. We'll be back. Just give you a little peek under the hood so you can kind of see what's going on in there. back on so I can keep my heat in my solution. Okay, so after eight minutes, you can see we still got paint in there, but here's the interesting part. 
You'll notice it just wipes away. You can see the pain on my finger. But it's completely gone from the needle now. And again, in the cup, it just... just wipes away. Now the nice thing about using an ultrasonic cleaner is not only does it clean this dried on paint and stuff but if you actually break the brush down it cleans nozzles very well. Um, you have numerous different ways again of cleaning nozzles of cleaning an airbrush in general but the thing I like about the ultrasonic cleaner is you get the nozzle out and you can sit it in here and let this ultrasonic cleaner and the solution work through it and it basically will clean it without the need of any additional uh, brushes or nozzle cleaners or, or whatever so that's another nice thing um, the downside to cleaning in an ultrasonic tank like this is when you clean the entire brush your valve will take on a certain amount of the cleaner inside uh, your seals in the brush are going to get cleaners uh, up in there so it's going to wind up removing the lubrication throughout the brush uh, I mean that's kind of a minor inconvenience because you have to go back and and relube the brush throughout but it needs to be done on a regular basis anyways to maintain your uh, nice smooth action for the brush so to me it's it's not much to have to relube the brush uh, in order to save myself a bunch of time on the cleaning process so that's one brush I'm gonna actually break this brush all the way down now put it back in and go through uh, at least one more cycle maybe two and then I'll put it back together so I can use it to uh, spray body here in a little bit okay so I've got the brushes all broke down uh, ready to go now what I like to do you're gonna have little parts uh, you know you can break this on down further if you want if you think there's additional paint in here you know you can you can go ahead and get the cap off the end of it uh, this brush was spraying pretty good so I don't think there's any paint in here but we'll go ahead and take the end off of it just so we have it ready to go as well and get uh, down in between the parts and clean everything nice and clean Another thing I like to do is take my nozzles and actually put them in a container themselves. That way they don't get down here and get lost, you know, inside of the, the tank. You know, just set them in there. Anything that, uh, the glass jar, you know, just about anything will work for it. You just want to make sure that you have something to hold them in so they won't come out and go through the cleaning cycle again. So let that run and come back in about another eight minutes and see what we get. Okay, so after two cycles, let's see what we got here. Take the lid off and water is definitely got a little bit of uh, paint material in there it appears so there you can see a nice clean cup nothing on the outside of the brush so do a little cleaning on this one looks like the paint kind of gunked up inside here but use a squirt bottle and spray it out nothing major so 
solution's still a little warm. There you have it. Simple way to clean your brushes. Not a lot of time involved. Pretty good little investment in my opinion. So if you don't want to take the time cleaning them by hand, ultrasonic cleaner.